Hello friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. And we are on April 9th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet and welcome to the Daily Dew, where we look at space weather, world weather, anything affecting humanity. Start out here looking at 304 angstroms of our sun. This is where we're really able to see plasma filaments erecting from the sun. Looking at the last 48 hours, incoming images, we do have quite a bit of action coming in on the northwestern limb. All that plasma activity. As well, outgoing, we did have a CME outgoing. And that little glitch is the calibration in the SDO satellite. Another quick look here at the plasma filament that kind of disappeared and then reappeared there. Small flash ahead of it. Looking here, multi-spectrum. You can see things lighting up a little bit and a little bit of energy coming in from the backside of the sun. But no coronal holes to talk about and no space weather effects right now. Having a quick look here at the plasma. Hopefully it stays in place. Looking here, the KP index still zero, zero space weather affecting us right now. Really a low solar wind speed of 367 kilometers per second. It's right, well, it's still a little above average. Normally it's around 300 to 350. So it's around average, I would say. But the flip flop in the blue and the pink, the phi angle there, a little bit discerning. Looking here at the Schumann resonance, a power of 17, a quality of 7.7, .7, power of 17. Having a look at the last 24 hours for earthquakes, starting out here most recently with a sizable 5.3 in Nazi, Japan, a 10 kilometer depth. And just north of that, a 4.3 rang off. in Ichonichi, Japan, as well a 4.3 here reported in Sinabang, Indonesia. Some deep earthquakes going through the equator right now, 4.5, 230 kilometer depth there, Indonesia, and then a couple deep ones here in Fiji, in Luvaka, 528 kilometer depth, 5.2 and as well a 4.2 at 591 kilometer depth. And just uh, loyalty island there, 5.0. So kind of expecting a large earthquake, 6.0 or greater, when you get up into the 600, possible 600 kilometer depth area. Overlooking Hawaii, a couple minor rumbles today. And then Alaska, that's kind of eerily quiet for an expected activity region right now. And then across the United States, seeing a lot of recent activity, especially through Texas and Mexico, the continuing earthquakes through White City, New Mexico, and just recently here in Capulin, New Mexico. And this is an old dormant volcanic field right up next to the Long Valley volcanic field. So now we're looking over USGS right now last 24 hours, 1.0 and greater. So these are mostly microquakes that are going on across the US. But I wanted to point them out as they are surrounding the south of the Salton Sea and then straight up the fault lines, all the fault lines pretty much 
and up into Nevada. So a lot of pressure, a Long Valley volcanic field up into the California-Nevada border, and also a lot of pressure being pushed northwest in the Pacific towards the Cascades, small swarm there in the geysers. So as I say, there's a lot of pressure. Stay aware and prepared, everybody. Just have a plan because it's kind of eerily quiet north of us there, Wanda Fuca up into Alaska. Overlooking the Caribbean plate, a couple small earthquakes to report here, Puerto Rico, 2.9, 2.5. As well, South America today, 4.8, and as well, 4.3 here, 114 kilometer depth, and 107 kilometer depth for the 4.8. Overlooking Europe, a 4.4 here in Romania to report. And the one lonely earthquake it seems to be one lonely earthquake a day there. So yes, we're looking at a pretty quiet 24-hour period for earthquakes, looking at just under 200 for the last 24 hours. So stay aware and prepared. I'm really expecting something big through South America or Alaska. And a subscriber hopped into the live stream tonight and said, watch out South America. And yes, I have the same feeling. Looking at the last seven days for earthquakes around the world. So you can see not many white rings on the map. So we're going through a quiet lull. But the white rings that are are pretty deep there in Fiji. And as well, the microquakes increasing through Alaska, North American plate. Let's have a look at the Pacific Disaster Center here, where we look at the most recent volcanoes to update from around the world. And of course, we have uh, Soufrière, St. Vincent, and the Grenadades, Grenadines volcano that erupted early this morning, as well as Sabancaya in Peru, Reventador in Ecuador, Tocono, Indonesia, Popo in Mexico, Pacaya, Guatemala, uh, that's do, 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 Sangue in Ecuador, Fuego, Guatemala, and then Quilito, Quilotoa in Ecuador. And this is a brand new volcano that has awakened and it is now part of the active and erupting Uh, number. So we're going to have to get a full update on Sunday for the volcanic activity report. Last reported was 41 volcanoes around the world. And this is a brief, brand new one here. Also looking at Suisse and Najima, Cinnabung, and Pacaya. So yeah, definitely things are waking up around the planet still with volcanoes and something very strange is happening in our atmosphere right now looking at massive systems that are forming in the atlantic and the pacific i've been reporting on it for weeks but now something very very strange has happened when it comes to the directions of our jet streams and how everything is moving let's have a look at the five day forecast brought to you by meteor earth meteor mike we're going to start out here overlooking calgary alberta as we do have quite the roller coaster event of temperatures it's warm during the day and cold at night and a low pressure system heading in tomorrow is going to make things feel really cold with the winds behind it. But big high pressure ridge that is coming in from the North Pole pretty much. You can see that stretch from Alaska to the North Pole and then down into the pretty much the United States border. So five day forecast here showing big system coming through Sunday into Monday and then merging with the low pressure system that is over the Great Lakes right now and then heading westward. Now watch as it spawns when it crashes with there. There's a small low pressure system that heads north right along the high pressure ridge that sneaks in and brings down some pretty cold temperatures across Canada and into the United States. So the snow is going to be coming from the east through Alberta and as well, United States, you've got a big winter storm forming right here 
in the long range forecast. So stay tuned to Morning Dew. This forecast, I'm sure, is going to intensify as the systems have been doing for the past little while. So heads up the world as everything has changed across the Northern Hemisphere. We're still watching many tornado warnings coming out tonight along the coastline of the United States with that low, but the interesting low pressure system heading straight north there from the Great Lakes is going to make it all the way to Finland and Russia, believe it or not. Watch in this forecast how these systems are moving. This is not right. Something is up with our planet. Looking over the Atlantic Ocean, still that large low pressure system I've been reporting for days now, finally going to move its way towards Europe in the forecast here and watches it spawns a couple small low pressure systems heading through Central Europe. And that big low pressure weather bomb is finally moving over to Russia. So watch rain and possible snow and high elevations through Europe, Central Europe, as this big Atlantic low starts to push in its moisture and its energy and then watch as another one forms in the same region. Overlooking Africa, no major weather systems affecting you except for shorelines, eastern shorelines, Mozambique, and as well, Madagascar. Some heavy rains this week. You could see the big torrential downpours through coastal regions. Overlooking Southeast Asia, big high pressure ridge moving southward from Russia, and that's being pushed by that huge low pressure system that came from Europe. And watch as it just keeps rolling across the planet in this forecast. It's just insane, folks. And I've been warning of this, and it's coming. So here, look at this is the low pressure system I was talking about here. It comes from Canada over the Hudson Bay. You can see it coming through there squeezed between two high pressure ridge ridges and thwarted and thrown towards Finland and the Norways and then into Russia later in the forecast. So yeah, stay tuned everybody. Everything is changing drastic drastically. Overlooking Indonesia, five day forecast, going to see a large typhoon forming in the long range forecast for the Phil for the Philippines. So heads up my Filipino friends. You do have a typhoon on your doorstep in this long range forecast. And then we have Odette and Ojira. Ojira? Oruja? <laughs> I forget the cyclone name. I just quickly forgot it. I'm sorry. But yeah, it's going to diminish and head across southeastern parts of Australia. But it's also going to bring in quite a bit of cool temperatures ahead of it and some very windy conditions. Leave you here looking at the very strange northern hemisphere right now much love to you all thanks for watching today stay aware and prepared stay young and have fun and get your morning dew big snowstorm coming to the states bye bye if you enjoyed today's video please hit that like button subscribe share with your friends and family from across the world